Well, hey folks, Captain Dave here on the back porch. I guess you could call this is going to be more of a vlog video because it has zero to do with fishing. I haven't been fishing. As a matter of fact, I had uh, two cancellations just for this weekend sort of week alone. I had a customer come up with an ailment and uh, was supposed to have just a single customer by himself. So, uh, no charter. We're going to do two days back, you know, separated, Saturday and Monday. But um, instead, I'm out here doing something else because I got to occupy my time. The Jetty Wolf is absolutely perfect. You know, I'm in it five, six, seven, eight times a day. So the boat is primo. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to show you a little something else that has nothing to do with fishing in Jacksonville or charter fishing or anything. You might be wondering what this is. I was wondering myself. I can't really remember. I can't read it on there. I don't believe it's a Dexter Russell. This was given to me by a friend of mine years and years and years ago. I think it's a Mundial. And you're going to see what I use it for. What do I got? Is this right here. This is a Corona carbide blade sharpener. That is a piece of carbide. Carbide doesn't wear out. I, I suppose it doesn't wear out, but what it is, it's harder, way, way, way harder than steel. And it's fused to a steel handle. That's a little cap right here. I keep this quite handy all the time when I'm doing yard work. And that's what we're going to do today. And what I've been doing is sitting here stroking this blade here with the carbide is what it does and it somewhat puts an edge back on it and it doesn't get it you know razor sharp or anything but it does put an edge back on it it's late in the day it's about four o'clock it's not as hot so I'm going to show you um, a little something you may have seen this in my hurricane footage before but this is my bamboo 25, 30 feet tall. Two uh, orange trees. Here's the start of them. It won't be ready to do anything with these oranges until around Thanksgiving, I believe. Thanksgiving, Christmas. While the rest of you are freezing for the reason, we're going to be juicing oranges. I did a video about juicing these too. Makes They're very watery. I don't do anything to them. But this video is about this bamboo. I probably eight, 10 years ago, planted three sprigs, three pieces of bamboo, three pieces of bamboo, and three pieces of bamboo. And you may say, well, why'd you do that, Dave? Well, when I moved here, the house behind me was all woods right here. There was this house, there was this house, but this was woods behind this fence. Then, they no sooner built that, some chick with her loud ass dogs moved in, which we had a huge problem with. Then they built that house right there. Then they built that turd colored house over there. And then my neighbor over here, he's been here forever. He was here before me. And I didn't really care to see these people. I went all the way down to Citra, Florida. And there was a guy who was living off the land, I guess you could say, back in an orchard. 
and he was growing clumping bamboo, not running bamboo, clumping bamboo. As you can see, this one's a clump. It just gets wider. And as you can see, it comes all the way out to here, right here. And I constantly trim it. And since it's kind of cooling off, I'm doing a lot of maintenance right now on my bamboo. I cut some of them off right here, just like this, because you're not going to be running through here any day, any chance. A squirrel can barely get through here. Look at the canopy. Clumping bamboo. Now, here's one of the older blades, because you know bamboo is a grass. That's pretty big. Compared to that knife, that's pretty big. What I've been doing is I've been doing a little cutting of some of the old stuff. See how this is brown? And that's what I've been using this for. This knife, I wish I knew what it was. I've been cutting it with this. Now, I originally bought for like 25 bucks. Me and my dad went all the way to Citra. <clears throat> and we bought, or I bought three clumps that would be like one, two, three, four. That little patch right there. About eight years ago, maybe 10. And now you can see what it looks like. It is a monster windbreak for my house and my roof. And it's also sh shading my orange trees here. If somebody local wants to start an impenetrable fence of their own, you can contact me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out a spot here, $30, and I will dig you out a big clump with roots. So what you got to do is you've got to kind of groom it. But in the beginning, let it just grow. Only thing I did, and I got pure sand, sand here, only thing I did was I bought a, a bag each for each hole. This was one, two, three clumps. I dug a hole, put three or four stalks, I guess we'll call it, in each one. And I dumped and mixed in with the sand that stuff called black cow. I believe it's called black cow. And it's like a mixture of good soil or something and cow manure. What a screen it makes. But it does take a little maintenance, but it's not maintenance super heavy. Now, somebody's got a little more cash than I do, and you have some better tools than this. Uh, you can trim all this off, and you can keep it just nice and straight. I could do a lot more with it, but I just don't really invest in the uh, garden toolage. You know, I invest more in fishing toolage and 26 foot aluminum boat toolage. That keeps me broke trying to keep everything going to take you out fishing. I'm going to show you how strong this bamboo is. This is dried up dead stuff got a split in it even so I'm gonna go right over here look at that that knife never even made a mark so you got to go on an angle and I'm taking this out to the curb for lawn whatever crap pick up bamboo you know 
you know, over in many countries where they have all different kinds of bamboo, they literally build scaffolding out of bamboo. There is damn near nothing stronger than this. This is Mother Nature's super grass, because bamboo is considered a grass. But this old Mundial knife, I use it as a machete, and I know what a lot of you are going to say. Oh, how come you don't get out a saw? Don't you got a chainsaw? Don't you do this? Don't you do that? No, I don't have, I don't have any of that. Like I just did, got done explaining, it cost me everything I got to keep you fishing. Not you, but customers. But let me show you on a green piece. I mean, even these things right here, just these little branches, these things are so strong, it's ridiculous. Now see this one here? You can, when they're young, you can just chop them off, All right? Here's a new one right here growing. And see, what I don't want right now is new growth. So I get in here and I just slice some of them off. Because I don't need new growth. Here's new growth. If you can see this little sprig coming up right here. I just trim them off. Here's some new growth. All right. Here's one right here. Hit it on an angle. It's the only way that you can cut it with a knife. There we go. Now, if you're a big gardener, let me tell you something. You need to make, you want to make fence stakes or anything like that. You want to make tomato stakes, vine stakes. It don't get cheaper than that right there. It grows in your own yard. My contact information as always is located in the video description where it says show more or where Google hides on the phone because that's where you're going to be watching this 99.9% .9 of everybody. That's pretty wicked, huh? And on the phone, I've done my own survey. Nobody knows where the video description is. You know why? Google hides it. It is a micro little tiny arrow on the on the YouTube app in which you've got to get your finger you got to have one of those texting fingers which I know you all have I don't I'm too old I guess and you've got to find that little thing and you've got to hit it and it'll open up the video description. Because see, I watch all video myself on a smart TV. Now on a smart TV, a Roku smart TV, you cannot, you cannot see it like on the laptop or anything like that. Or I watch videos on a laptop with a very large screen. I don't do anything on a smartphone. As a matter of fact, I looked up how can I get how can I get a old flip phone, old style flip phone that'll have apps. Well, I found one. They're between six and nine hundred dollars, and you have to buy it from over in Hong Kong and it's a Samsung 
okay now I hate the typing on a smartphone and I don't I hate everything about it to tell you the truth I'm not into it but um, that's what you've got to find out that's where the information is I also leave it in a pinned comment if you know what a pinned comment is I don't think half the people watching YouTube know anything about YouTube there's many, many, many varieties of bamboo. Some of them get to be that big around. You know, everybody says, oh, you can't kill it. Oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can keep it very under control because that's what I'm doing right now. A little exercise out here in the sun, getting a little vitamin D if you don't work outside. is a, a good thing so I just get the I just get the spamming comments all the stuff that you never see and the constant you know thumbs down we got we got a thumbs downer it's the same person every time on this channel you can go out and catch you know a 300 pound redfish and guy must be a leftist nut you know kind of like uh, you know as the president said you could be nominating George Washington to the Supreme Court right now and the, the wacko leftists would vote it down but that's one wicked blade wouldn't you say I don't even know what it is I've had this blade for probably 20 years and did, didn't want to go out and buy some stupid cheap ass machete at Home Depot or anywhere. Because why? I had this already. And I'm of the persuasion now, you notice that there isn't any reviews of $500 reels. Because Dave can't be doing reviews of $500 reels anymore. Not that I ever pay that, because you know I never would. I'm using things that I already have today. You don't know, unless you're in the industry, of all the things that are happening in the fishing charter industry. You have no clue. It's getting tougher and tougher and tougher every single year. There's forces to be that want to control your life. This isn't like when I got started, folks. Things have changed, and it ain't for the good. But like I said, if you want to start your own, by all means, look in the video description, go to my website, get a hold of me, come on by with your pickup truck and a, and a garbage bag, because that's what we did. We took, when I got it from this live off the land dude down at Citra, we just dug it up. We laid it in the back of my truck. We wrapped up the, the roots with as much dirt as possible. And we drove them to Jacksonville. Never been to Citra, Florida before in my life, but it's down there near Orange and Loch Lusa lakes which is some beautiful country totally different than coastal florida and he had more bamboo than you knew what to shake a stick at and orange trees now i don't know if this guy owned this property but he had a really nice website too all about different kinds of bamboo, how to take care of your bamboo, blah, blah, blah about bamboo. Well, I'm telling you right now, you don't have to take much care of it. This stuff takes care of itself and turns into a wonderful wall between you and someone you don't want to see. That's the whole purpose. You got any questions? Comments, of course, everybody's got a comment. Everybody's got a comment. 
I don't do that much commenting on videos myself every once in a while. Sometimes I run down my news feed. I guess they call it a news feed. I don't know shit about Facebook. And I comment on like almost everything. Especially stuff about, you know, how the left is acting. But that's, I have friends and I call them friends. They're on that side, but I don't hold it against them. And I don't think they hold me. They don't hold anything against me. And we're still friends. I still talk to them, still drink a beer with them. That's what it's all about, folks. I hold no grudge against them because they're not out hurting nobody. But this is now one day after the Kavanaugh hearing. Here I am getting off on a tangent. And let me tell you something. If you're not upset in any way of watching people like Feinstein ruin a man's life, you have no soul. A good guy, I don't care what you think about him, he probably has never hurt a soul in his life. Family man, which there isn't, you know, the breakdown of the family. There you go. That's a whole other subject. I don't have a family that I made. I find that extremely difficult in this business. Like I said, I don't do this. I don't do the fishing charter stuff part time. I'm not retired. Anything. I guess that calls me unlucky. But I certainly wouldn't want any kids or anything in this business. So, either way, I'm ranting. But I'm cleaning it up at the same time. You see all this is chopped. You can leave it just like that. And you'll get new ones coming in like that one right there. So, no big deal. All right, going out to the street here. And Tuesday they'll pick this up. But they try to not pick it all up because they're city employees. They always leave a few for me to have to pick up after them. Isn't that the way? Isn't that the way the garbage people are? Throw a big old pitchfork into that and pick it up. If you want to buy a clump, just give me a holler. Go to my website, click contact Captain Dave. I'm in Jacksonville, Florida. It won't hurt my, will not hurt my uh, clumps of clumping bamboo. Will not hurt it in one bit. I can practically cut you a clump, we'll wheel it out and stick it in your pickup truck. All right. So I know this has nothing to do with fishing. And the only people that might watch it is people to see bamboo if they're interested in bamboo oh well i'll talk at you later and i appreciate you watching thanks i want to go fishing because it takes my stress away i want to go fishing try and cast my blues away i want to go fishing i don't want